have made it to Amalfi and I couldn't be happier. This is my current view. Like, you're kidding me. We are staying at the same hotel Georgia and I stayed at last year. Oh my god. I look away for two seconds and he's up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this place is definitely the nicest place that I've booked on this trip, but it is my birthday tomorrow, so I thought I'd book a couple of that was Sam. Everyone is looking. Thought I'd book a special couple of nights here. We're in Amalfi for about a week. We have two nights here and then four nights at another hotel. We checked in a few hours ago and I just cannot wipe the smile off my face. I just love it here so much. Sam's having his third shower. To get salt off my face, um, really salty. Come down to the beach club to just chill for a few hours, and I really just don't want to do anything else for the entire time that we're here, honestly. No, it, yeah, it's deep. <laughs> it's really deep, yeah. It is 4 30. I think we spent a couple of hours here just swimming, relaxing. I'm gonna do a bit of reading, but I think first I'm gonna go get a floaty and then jump in. I can't believe I'm back. I think this is my favorite place in the world. How is it out there? How is it out there? Yeah, someone's happy. Yeah. We've come back up to our room after a couple of hours of just swimming and relaxing. Just can't believe we're here for two nights. I'm going to hop in the shower, wash my hair because it is in a is it it whoa it is in dire need of a hair wash, and then I'm gonna hop into my room. And I think the plan is to honestly just order room service and not really leave the hotel room for the night, which I'm very excited about. Sam and I are both absolute suckers for a robe, room service, and a movie. But I think that's what we'll do tonight, as we are here for basically a week. We have a lot of other nights to go out to different restaurants and go out to eat, but I'm really just feeling a room service night tonight. Room service, robe, and a movie is exactly what I want for my last night being 23, which really just, I think because this trip has been so amazing and every single day has just been like so exciting and amazing and I'm just so excited to be here more than anything. It really doesn't feel like my birthday tomorrow. I'm not like, I feel like when you're at home, you kind of like think, oh, my birthday's next week or my birthday's this week or something like that. But I feel like because we've just been so busy and, and this holiday has just been so exciting every single day, I haven't really been thinking about it. So it's kind of just like, can't believe I'm turning 24 tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my hair and I'm so excited just to feel fresh. Uh, the room 73, two classic pop samples. <laughs> Good morning, birthday girl. What are you doing out here? Just living your best life, hey? Where is the dog barking from? I think it's on a boat. How are you going this morning? Not too bad. Not too bad. This will do. 24? Yeah. I don't think I've ever woken up to a prettier view on my birthday. That's true. This is a pretty I am pretty good start. looking. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> There's not a cloud in the sky. Birthday weather gods have really come through. To be honest, they, they always do on my birthday. Do they? It's always good weather. They've on got my your back. Yeah. Wow. It's always pouring rain on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little outdoor terrace with like, the grass. Awesome. And it's like so private too. Yeah, we think we're gonna enjoy a coffee and then maybe head down for a swim. Morning swim. swim. Just to like wake us up. Buffet breakfast. Ooh. The buffet breakfast here is so good. Yeah, I'm very excited to find out. Sam, because we're in Italy, has decided to make himself just an espresso. Just an espresso shot this morning. That's my worst nightmare right there. I always order half strength drinks. Wow, I just cannot believe. You're kidding me! You're kind of speechless. <laughs> Also, you're not gonna fucking believe this. I'm in the exact same room. It's happening again. Absolutely. I didn't organize this either. I don't know that it's got coffee on top of it. Oh my gosh. Is it tiramisu? Do you like tiramisu? 
It's actually really good. Is it? Mm. I, I'll be getting stuck in. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. We were just talking this morning about how that happened to us in Bali. Yeah, same thing. Okay, what's the time? 2.20 p.m. So we've been by the beach basically all day, which has just been exactly how I wanted it. Just gotten some lunch. Oh my gosh, the chips here are so good. I can't describe them. I've gone for the toasty, then Sam's gone for the club sandwich, which we had for dinner last night, and it was so good. I might have to have some. Oh my gosh, this is just the perfect day. We've also just been getting a bit more into the beach read. read a few more chapters so far. I'm really, really thoroughly enjoying. And reading it by the beach is just, I mean. Just checking there wasn't anyone in there. Birthday pump. Yes. We've come to the gym for a little afternoon workout, if you will. We've got the whole thing to ourselves, which is quite stunning. We did a workout a couple of days ago in Rome. My hamstring specifically is still quite sore, but I think I'm just gonna do basically just like a full body. Probably everything but hamstrings, actually. This is the gym fit. All-time favorite Gymshark Legacy shorts. I love these with every ounce of my being. And then just a minimal white sports bra. ready a bit. I did my makeup. I tried to do my hair but I think just because I remember the last time I was traveling around Europe my hair got so so dry and I thought it was because it was just blonde and unhealthy. It's just so dry and I have been reapplying my hair oil like every single time I come up here and it just continues to get dry. I don't know what's in the water here but how are all of these European girls having like beautiful glossy hair so my hair just won't do it here anyway this has been an outfit that i've been looking forward to wearing this trip this top is from house of cb it's one of the ones i showed in my collective haul and then this skirt is a little bit crinkly but like i'm not gonna iron it it's just a white linen skirt from dish which i also showed in my collective haul a few weeks back it literally fits like a glove i love it plus it's stretchy at the back so You've got room to grow. And then shoes, I've gone my little sandals from, I think, Spenla shoes. Just very simple little sandals. What's your fit looking like? I think it's all gotten on. Gotten on. Pretty sure these pants have gotten on. Wow. It's also just my favorite time of day here. It's like not quite sunset. Look at that. It's so quiet. Like I feel like everyone's collectively getting ready for dinner. For dinner tonight, we are heading down to like the center of our Malfi. My friend Maddie is actually traveling Europe right now as well. And she just happens to be in our Malfi as well right now with a friend. So we are all gonna meet for dinner. Have dinner together, probably a gelato afterwards together. And I haven't seen her in like over a month, maybe even longer. So I'm very, very excited. It's just crazy that we're both in Italy at the same time. Be feeling dinner. That's a great question. Um, I've been loving the pasta while we've been here, but I feel like I maybe a pizza. Maybe we get a few things to share. What's up, birthday girl? Not how much, I'm just looking through the pickies from tonight. Did you have a good night? I did. Yeah. I had the best day ever. Really, ever? Well, it has to be up there. Wow. Weather Ooh. was beautiful, this hotel was beautiful, everything was just perfect. What? I'm 24. 
You're old. I'm still just 23. Yep, I'm into younger dudes. <laughs> I think I said this last year or the year before. I've now filmed my birthday for like, I think since my 20th. Mm. Or maybe my 19th. Mm. Actually my 19th, I think it was. You've all seen me age like five years. Mm. Isn't that crazy? I've seen it in person. Yeah, it's 10.46 and I'm very tired. So we're gonna go to sleep and maybe get up early, gym session and swim. Thanks for spending yet another birthday with me. You're welcome. <laughs> now you're stuck with me. See you tomorrow. hot after that lotion. That's so weird. <laughs> it looks so bad at that angle. The light's hitting it. <laughs> this is my dinner. So the last 48 hours? Pretty much. Have been... Hell. Interesting, to say the least. Thought we might not make it home. <laughs> it was so rough. So basically, the last clip that they would have just seen is us in bed after my... at the end of my birthday. Two days ago. Yeah. Oh. And this was me hours. Oh no, yeah. No, yeah, two, yeah, two days, ago. days ago. Oh, yeah. I forgot we lost a whole day. Yeah. Merely hours before we got violently ill. Hours before disaster. <laughs> I am so sunburned. That no, like, not it. What the hell? Yeah, Sam spent like 10 minutes in the sun today and got so burnt. The last clip that you saw was in bed after my birthday dinner. We were feeling all well and fine then. Yeah. And then Sam fell asleep pretty quickly. I was still like on my phone. I thought we were getting attacked when I woke up. <laughs> These fireworks started, which I thought was very fitting because they started at the end of my birthday. So random though. Then Sam was like, oh, like I feel really, really sick. And I was like, oh really, that's weird. And then probably a little bit more time passed and then you started to like burp up <laughs> So I had, I had seafood pasta for dinner. Yeah. It was like spaghetti with like clam, calamari. Oh. No, you know, she was yeah, sick I'm sick just talking about it. Didn't taste off when I ate it. So I started burping up the taste of seafood and I was like, oh no. So Sam was up all night vomiting. All night. I didn't sleep. Didn't sleep like until one Until the week. sun came up. As soon as the sun came up, I woke up feeling really sick. So I went to the toilet and... Didn't have a good time. Didn't have a good time. But I was like, oh, like surely that's it. Here's the other crazy thing. Is I had one tiny bite. Like... I was like, oh, can I try your dish to Sam? Because I got a pizza and we were all out with Maddie and Holly and they both got pizzas as well and they were completely fine. So I was like, oh, well, surely I'll be fine. Anyway, I had one tiny little bite, not even of seafood, of just the pasta that the seafood was like mixed in with. I'll put the the time on the screen if you just want to skip yeah, past skip past the vomit story. Yeah. I went to the toilet a couple of times and it was not a fun time but I was like surely that's it anyway a couple hours passed I thought maybe like oh maybe it's because I haven't eaten anything so I go up to the buffet breakfast and just get like a bread roll and some, a banana and I eat them and then I start feeling really really sick then I throw that up and then probably a few hours pass we're in the bed and we had to check out of the hotel we were staying at the checkout time was at 11 and it was getting to like 10 30 and we were like we actually don't know how we're gonna like get up pack our bags and leave I we, was... we couldn't have moved at the time i was thinking yeah like we'll have to move like yeah. it is what it is and i remember i kept psyching myself up that i was gonna have to get out of bed because mm. I, I was we were both bedridden yeah we, were, like, we could not move got to 10 40 and i was like i can't get up no like i'm so sick and so, i was rolling around in bed like feeling so sick as well i honestly think at that point you were worse than me yeah. When we had to actually get up and leave. Mm -hmm. I was like so violently ill all night. And then when it got to the day, I was just like out like a light. Because mm. I hadn't slept. But I think you were more sick than me. Yeah. Well, yours happened the night. Mine waited till the next day. I called reception and was like, can we extend? Can we extend our like check out a little bit? We're just, we're quite sick. You know, mm. we're, we're throwing up a little bit. We can't really get up. And they're like, oh yeah, how's 12? But I was like, oh. An extra hour will I was take like, it. I was like, look, as late as you can make it. That'd be great. And she's like, yeah, 12. So 11.40 rolls around and I'm like, nah, we're not moving. I literally can't move. I went online and checked if the hotel had extra availability for the night and I found that they did. And so Sam then called up and was like, is there any chance we can book Jump. our room for another, yeah, night? another night? And they were like, yes, of course. Is there, is there anything you need? And we were like, not not right now. And they called us like every probably hour every or so. Every few hours to check on us. I vomited once more. Then I just slept all day. It was like my body just, like I felt so, so sick and I probably should have threw up more but I hate throwing up so so much that I was like I'll just lie in bed just continuing to feel sick. You literally probably slept for 24 hours straight. Like yeah. Almost. I slept hours. most of yesterday and then all through the night. Not waking up once. I couldn't believe how much you slept because you kept 
waking up and I was like, oh yeah, and then she went to sleep and I was like, oh yeah, put her laptop on charge and her headphones on because I was like, she's going to wake up at like one o'clock and just be awake because she slept all day. Nope, yeah. slept all night. Slept all night. <laughs> I'm I've pretty never sure I woke better. up this morning, before you this morning. <laughs> yeah, you did. So <laughs> you're still asleep, just conked it. I was out. You've never had it. I've never had food poisoning. I've only ever had it once before this. I remember it being exactly like it was. Like you want to just wean yourself back on to like first start with sipping water just to, because you're so dehydrated. We had both had me mega fevers. So I've had a massive fever. Mm. I was just sipping water and then I was like, we need something. So I call them and I'm like, got a bit of a weird order. Lemonade, like a Sprite, two bananas and plain toast. <laughs> and they were like, and we're like, okay. So this dude comes down with like this, this silver tray with the, the lid on it and it's like, Duh. And there's like a banana on the plate. <laughs> we are just like also counting our lucky stars that it wasn't a travel day yesterday because we would we couldn't have mm -hmm. moved. Like Hundred percent would have missed a flight or a train yeah. if we had one. We were at Mira Malfi. We've moved to another hotel in our Malfi. We were supposed to come to last night, but couldn't obviously. So luckily it wasn't like a big move even today because today we've been pretty not well. Yeah, we haven't been well today. Today we've just been off. Like today I've eaten a little cup of fruit and like a piece of toast for brekkie. You mm. had similar. We had these paprika Pringles, mm. and that was that was my lunch, and it was actually quite good. So I'd feel a little bit off in the last like hour. Have you? We missed a cooking class that we had booked in today. Yeah. So today we were supposed to go to Positano, had a cooking class booked in, and so now we're not going to be able to go to Positano, which is really really sucky. But we'll just have to come back in our lives. Yeah. Which I'm okay we'll with. Come back. I just won't eat there again. Just will not eat the, the restaurant again. Anyway, that's our story. Oh, I just feeling really sick again. It's just talking about it. Is it talking about yeah, it? Is yeah. that what it is? I've been sitting out here doing some reading, which is, uh, has actually been very nice. This is the view from our new hotel. Absolutely beautiful. We can see all of our Malfi. If we do wake up feeling pretty much back to normal tomorrow, which I'm hoping we do. We should be pretty good. Right? We're going to go to Capri, which I'm very excited about. Beach Club Joy are just like around the, around the corner, but we could not have gotten a better day. It is perfect weather. Very, very, very hot, but the water is perfect. Very happy. <laughs> we caught the bus back up to, I want to say the centre? Like the main hub of Capri because we've done a hell of a lot of walking up steps already and it was right down the bottom of the beach that we were at. We're now thinking of getting some lunch because we're yeah. quite hungry and we haven't felt hungry in like three days so this is good, this is a good sign. Oh, it's busy. Maddie and Holly have just also said that they're here so I think we're going to meet up with them and then head to the chairlift which I'm very excited about. Very warm. Whew, and we didn't even walk up the hill. <laughs> We've just caught a bus up to Anna Capri, which is where the chairlift ski lift thing is. And I didn't realize, but it's like a whole separate Sam just bought some new sunglasses. My one's broke. I didn't realize this was gonna be like kind of like a separate We're on a time another step, town. Okay, our ferry back to Amalfi leaves at 5 p.m. and it's like quarter to four. So we're trying to get back pretty soon. Up now we're on the lookout for the chairlift. We don't actually know where to go. Okay, we've found it. This is what it looks like, and we can see through there. But you literally just sit on one little seat, like you're not really strapped in. No, they just put a metal bar across you. Just yeah, which is kind of scary. I don't think it stops either. You really just like jump on. Yeah. <laughs> I stand alone. 
Show me where the <laughs> I'm terrified to hold my camera up. We're on. Sam's behind me. <laughs> this is so cool. I think it's 13 minutes up. It's quite a slow and like relaxed journey up. The chairs kind of like stop. Not stop, but like ever so slightly slow. So it's not too bad getting on, but it's, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. It's just started to feel scary. It's like looking down is kind of terrifying. <laughs> Although I suppose if I fell like surely I wouldn't die. Not that high off the ground. Yeah, that's. I felt like in most parts, if I fell, I'd be sweet. Yeah, that's what I thought. It would hurt, but I'd be sweet. There was one point. I feel like sometimes when I get really high, my my feet start to go all tingly. And there was one point that that happened, but honestly, it kind of felt pretty safe. We've made it to the top. Oh my gosh! Wow, that is beautiful. <laughs> Why am I puffing from walking up like ten steps? It was so easy and quick. You can spend as much time up there as you want. It was so cool. You're so high up. It's also quite quiet right now as well. I'm not sure if it always is. We're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. This is dinner. That's all we felt like. We just started coming fresh. We had a late lunch. We did have a late lunch and a big late lunch. Yeah. So we stumbled across this place. We thought it was like a smoothie place. You can get a smoothie, which Sam's getting, or frozen yogurt with a bunch of toppings. So yum. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I better, better try some. That is so good. Like it's exactly what I felt like tonight. Something fresh and easy on the stomach. If anyone remembers, that is the tower Georgia and I stayed in last year. Very reminiscent. Georgia, if you're watching, this is for you. That was our tangled tower. It's 5.47, we woke up. 17 minutes ago. We did pack last night, but we just did the last little bits this morning. Last view of Amalfi. But we're off to Greece, which is very exciting. We haven't been on a plane for a while. We've been catching trains for Earth. We've got to catch two flights today. One to Athens and then one to Santorini. It doesn't feel like when even when I say that, I'm like, we're not actually going to Santorini today. Santorini is a place I've dreamed of going. Probably since I watched Mamma Mia when, with my mum when I was like five years old. I wanted to go to Greece. So I'm so excited. This is my airport outfit, something very comfy, shorts a dish. This top, oh, I this singlet, I always forget where it's from, but I can pop it on the screen. And then a little grey hoodie, just in case I get cold on the plane, because I always do. It's from Factory, and then my white Reeboks, of course. And that is the very basic airport outfit, but I'll see you in Greece. <laughs> 